Welcome to Bothering the Baron. My name is Ryan Bynack. With me, as always, is Abigail Ann Levy. We have a very special, fun episode today with Peyton Gilliland, and you have to say it like that, who is a, a artist that came our way through a, a mutual friend, and we're so thankful she's on the podcast. Go listen to her music. And after this, ladies and gentlemen, Bothering the Band with Peyton Gilliland. Oh, cool. What's going on, Peyton? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for moving this a little bit. I had to pick up my daughter and her friends from camp and, gotcha. and you know, you know, the life of a rock star podcast host. <laughs> Well, that sounds like so much fun. I miss summer camp. <laughs> oh yeah, and she she was just beaming and had a good day. Um, so they all did. It, it That's was awesome. Fun. So thank you. Yeah. Also, I just want to mention. I love that your name says. Uh, is it say? Pre- oh, I thought it said Princess Peyton. It's supposed to say Princess Peyton. Okay. I just can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been Perfect. I've been meaning to fix that for like a year and I just haven't gotten around to it. So that sounds like us, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like the shampoo like thing where you only think about your running low on shampoo when you're in the shower and then right when you're out of it. Exactly. Exactly. Cool. Well, um, yeah, we're ready to go. We're already going. Uh, how are you and where are you? I'm good. I'm in Franklin, Tennessee. I moved here about a year ago. From where? From Alabama, near Huntsville, about an hour from Huntsville. That's wild. How far is uh, Franklin from Nashville? It's about 30 minutes. It really depends on the day, depends on the traffic, but give or take 30 minutes. Oh, wow. We were just in Nashville. We did a show there. Oh really? Um, yeah, and actually, just to be full, fully honest, I'm like, now I'm gonna have to yell at our mutual pal John Salloway for not sending you our way. Then, yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah, we put on a kick-ass show at City Winery. He was involved, heavily involved. Um, how do you know him? So I I've known John for probably uh, I mean probably like seven like six seven years now I want to say like I think I met him when I was like 14 um we met through a lady named Hannah Arn and um she connected us through writing and John's an awesome guy so he's connected me to a, a lot of other people since then and yeah he's awesome yeah he's a sweetheart yeah heart of gold on that guy um, so how often do you play in Nashville proper often or are you too big for it now? Cause it's like cover song city is what I called it when I was, uh, there. <laughs> well, I don't get to play that often. Um, I, I wish I could play more, but I mean, I used to play a lot more. I haven't been playing quite as, as recent, you know, uh, here recently, but, um, I have a show, I actually have a show coming up next month and it's my grandpa's or well, my grandparents 50th wedding anniversary. They wanted me and the band to come down and play for them. So that's going to be super exciting. He's like, my grandpa is my biggest fan. So it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. Oh man. That's, that's incredible. What's your, what's your grandpa's name? His name is Richard. Richard, shout out to Richard. I yeah. hope he listens to it. If he's oh, he a big fan, will. he'll listen to this definitely unique will. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> um, Richard, if you're listening, I'm sorry for cursing. Uh, let me just throw <laughs> that out there. Oh, he doesn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, also, back to Nashville, uh, because you you moved there, I'm curious your thought. And Abby and I had this when we were walking around. Um, it's so loud there. I'm from New York City and it was the loudest place I've ever been to. Yeah, well, so I actually when I, growing up in Alabama, I, I lived in one house my entire life before I moved here and it, it's pretty rural where I grew up. So uh, that's why I live in Franklin and not in Nashville. I, I 
don't really go to Nashville that often if it's not for music. So, um, yeah, I'm not much of a city person. I, I go occasionally, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's like a different, different vibe. Again, it's, it's a city, but coming from New York, I was, I was like, it is so loud. We're right next to each other and I can't hear Abby. Like, yeah, it can get pretty loud. It was, it was, it was fun. Uh, Tennessee was nice. Okay. How do you describe your music? Um, I would say it's kind of like the whole like man eater vibe is, you know, that's kind of the vibe it is. It's like pop rock, um, kind of like villain esque. You know what I mean? I love that. I don't, but I, I am on board. <laughs> And also, uh, is man eater vibe a thing, or d- are you just giving it this name that you just made up? I I don't know if it's a thing or not. It just kind of popped into my brain, but I I think it's probably a thing. I I think it's a thing without knowing it's a thing. Right. Like right. I mean, some Taylor Swift songs would be yes, some man eating. Like. <laughs> oh, I am on board. I that is a total vibe and if it's not a thing it is now <clears throat> uh staying on the music track what music did you listen to today oh what did i listen to today i i'm always listening to mac miller that's one for sure um i think pretty much i listen to rap music today that's pretty much it i think we're on, we love it we love mac yeah miller. Love I Mac was, Miller. I was looking at some like I don't know Instagram reel where they're like best NPR Tiny Desk concerts, and in my or Tiny Desk performances, and in my head I was like it should be Mac Miller number one, absolutely. And, and, and it, it thankfully it was, or else I would have left a you know <laughs> man eating comment. As you know, should, there. as you should. <laughs> uh, okay, so what? bothered you today you're on bothering the band you have a song called not bothered what bothered me today if i'm going to be 110 percent honest and i really hope that this person doesn't hear this but um one of my co-workers <laughs> bothered me a little bit today but it's fine it's fine <laughs> can, can you spill the beans like what they did you don't have to say their name It was just, uh, just a little bit of petty stuff, just like bossing me around for no reason, just, just for the sake of bossing me around when, you know, that person isn't in a higher ranking role than me. So like, it doesn't make sense just kind of doing it just because I guess they thought they could. So, but it's all good. It's all good. Can I, can I ask the question? Is this person a man? No. Oh, it's not. Whoa. I, I just instantly went. That's what I thought. Um, See, I did it. I instantly thought woman, but that's because, because I've been there. Women are very competitive. And so we, I've been probably the person that was bossy when they shouldn't have been as well as on the receiving end. Right. I think we all have to be fair. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you have any tattoos? I do. I have four. Okay. What was your first one? My first one, oh, I can show it to you. It's right here on my wrist. Teeny tiny. It's three letters. It says OTL and it it stands for my song. It's one of my favorite songs, uh, Ones That Leave. Oh, wow. That's cool. I just got uh, two new ones on Sunday. Awesome. That's so exciting. Mm. Very cool. Um, What was your last one? My last one is this one right here. Um, my brother actually drew it. He he. It's a sketch that he did. I told him I wanted um, a tattoo of an angel, and I thought it'd be really special if he drew it because um, that was like when I graduated and you know moved away, and we are now we live several hours apart now. So I figured it'd be cool to have a piece of his artwork on my arm, and I really love it. I love the way it turned out. Oh, Abby, when are you going to get a drawing of mine on your body? Whenever you come visit. 
Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, let's talk cookies. We love cookies on Bother and the Band. Um, what's your favorite type, brand, go-to cookies? My favorite kind of cookie? Honestly, lately, I, I've really been kind of into the crumble. I love the crumble, but I'm always a sucker for a homemade chocolate chip like you can never go wrong there so that that I, I would have to say that's probably my favorite even though that's basic I mean I wouldn't say it's basic I'd say it's classic oh yeah we were gonna uh, correct that because big fan of the classic homemade Abby makes some gangster uh ch- homemade chocolate chip cookies uh I have one beef with crumble their regular chocolate chip cookie is made with milk chocolate. And to me, that's if you're not mixing it with like semi-sweet, it's, it's not the same. That's true. That's true. I I actually don't like their chocolate chip cookie, to be honest. I had a churro cookie from there like a month ago because they change all the time. Yeah. Shout out to crumble sponsor this podcast. (laughs) Um, they're having a minute in the sun right now because a basketball player like referenced them in a joke. And now they're like, if this basketball s- player stays with the team, uh, everyone will get like a discount on crumble in Philadelphia. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Very weird. Okay. This is a real dumb one. So do, do you have Venmo? I do have a Venmo. Okay. When people send you Venmo money, one for question one, do you stack it up or do you transfer it to your bank? I transfer it immediately, immediately. Okay. okay. <laughs> follow up question. Follow up. Do you do the one to three business days or do you do instant transfer? One to three, because I'm not about to lose any money. <laughs> Yes. I don't care if it's a couple cents or a dollar. I would rather wait and keep all of my money. I love it. I'm writing that down. I agree, <laughs> but I'm a stacker. I yeah, I'm a stacker. Because then one day, like I want to do something that like costs probably more than it should. And I'm like, oh Venmo, it's free money. <laughs> it's free money. I that's how I paid for my tattoos. <laughs> oh, really? That's awesome. <laughs> I have a girlfriend that didn't realize that that was the money. Like when she looked at that number, we were at dinner when this happened and we're like, oh, we'll Venmo, blah, blah, blah. And every time she Venmoed somebody, she did it out of her bank account instead of out of her balance because she thought that that number was just like a running total of all the transactions you've ever made. (laughs) And we opened her Venmo and she had over $3,000 sitting in there. And so she paid for her and her husband to go to Hawaii with it because she literally were like, that's money. And she's like, no, that's just how much has gone back and forth. And we were like, no, that's hilarious. (laughs) That's awesome though, that they got to go to Hawaii for it. Yeah. Talk about free money. Yeah. For for real. real. (laughs) Is this Jordan? Was that Jordan? It was not, but Jordan was there when it occurred. Okay. Fair. <laughs> yeah. And we still talk about it sometimes when we Venmo each other. <laughs> uh, okay. For everyone listening, uh, Peyton's Zoom is supposed to be uh, Princess Peyton. It's missing the N. It says Princess Peyton. We have a question. Uh, least favorite Disney princess. Ooh. Um, probably like Snow White, I guess. Cause like she was asleep the whole time, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Abby, who's your least favorite Disney princess? Gosh, probably controversial at the moment, but Ariel, cause who wants to be where the people are? <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, but I also found Jasmine really annoying. Yeah. Jasmine has some some independence she's exercising. I, I, I'm on board with Jasmine. I agree with the Little Mermaid where it's like grass is always green. Like you just should listen. As a dad, she could have avoided all this had she listened to her father. Right. Like how sick is it that you're a mermaid and you just want to be a human? 
Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> bananas. It, but it's like you're a mermaid with a stunning voice, and you're like, I'll be the human with a zero voice. That's right. Wild. Right. Wow, to me. Also, how does she talk underwater? But that's besides the point. Good question. I have to get this off my chest. This came up today. This is why this fits appropriately. I I have a hatred for Elsa. Oh, oh, okay. I changed my answer completely. Elsa. Elsa is my least favorite. Solidarity. Elsa is my least favorite. I do not, I do not like Elsa. But that's another, she's just like misguided and she could save everyone, including her sister who right. she loves by just, this is how you save the whole thing. Hey, knock it off. Yeah. <laughs> Be less angsty, angsty. Like, come on, man. Also, she gets, um, she gets top billing. Like in, 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 when the movie came out, I don't, you know, now it's like 20 years ago, but um, Elsa was the, the big promo push and in the movie anna is the hero she is the protagonist right she's like the main character yeah yeah and i'm like ah, come on yeah it doesn't make much sense i haven't seen the second one i don't really plan on it but um i mean that that movie has great music so they have that ha- they, have, they have that going for them you know of course and i'll give them that and there's some lighthearted good moments and right I don't, here's what I'll say. I don't dislike the movie. I do dislike Elsa though. I'll have to say that. That's a great, I like it. Have you guys seen this thing where um, Frozen and Rapunzel and the Little Mermaid are all connected? Yeah. That is pretty cool though. That blew my mind. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is very cool. And it's like, you can see uh, Rapunzel and what's his toes in the wedding or like, like, or and in frozen. the coronation day. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Look at us again. Just, <laughs> you know, talking gangster tattoos and right. <laughs> bothering the band, really pushing the envelope. Do you have stickers on your computer? Do you stick up your laptop? I do. Oh, you're one of them. Yes. I what do. Stickers. Can you name a few off the top of your head? Yes, I have um I have one that has Breckenridge, Colorado on it. It's like a little sticker that I got um when I was there. And then I have one for from Victory Tattoo, which is a place here in Nashville that I got a tattoo from once. A free tattoo. At actually at Lincoln Parish's wedding, I got this gummy bear tattoo for free from Oh, that's cool. I mean, yeah, it was it was pretty sick. That was like that that is probably the best tattoo story that I have. And then I have a sticker of my mom's company, Mojo Joint. And then a couple Oh, that's of- your mom? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. It all makes sense. And then I have um the company that I work for now and um a couple other like horse company stickers because I ride horses. So okay. Um beep 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 or er, we got to step slow here okay uh lincoln parish uh formal i believe he doesn't play with cage the elephant anymore right right but used to um if this is like a music geek podcast so i'm sure listeners chomp, like jumped on that so i have to acknowledge it uh love that band i know you do too and, oh my god yeah uh, that their song uh cigarette daydream really yes. hits me yes hard i love that song do you have a favorite song of theirs tell me please tell no, me. no i'm asking if you do oh oh um i love them all for real um like probably and it the, you could ask me this once a week and my answer would probably be different every week but right now in this very moment probably um portuguese knife fight oh that that's pretty- a good song yeah but um but yeah actually um john salloway was the one who introduced me to lincoln in the first place it, it was actually really funny because cage the elephant has been my favorite band i mean still to this day has been my favorite band since i was like 11 years old and one day randomly um when i was starting to look for producers when i, I mean i was probably like 15 16 at the time and um john was helping us meet people and all that kind of stuff and he was like oh and by the way I know this guy 
he used to play for this band, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yeah, he used to play for KG Elephant. And I just like flipped the fuck out, like flipped the fuck out. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Like, that's my favorite band ever. And, and then like, you know, that was a whole like full circle thing. Cause I got to meet him and work with him and like, I completely was so starstruck the first time I met him. And, but yeah, yeah. I love cage elephant. Uh, let me say to your mom, who's listening, Jennifer, I believe it, Sorry. Uh, Peyton just cursed. It's not our influence. Uh, Richard, you know, <laughs> it's probably your fault, but <laughs> yeah, it is definitely both of their faults. So, okay. So you ride horses. You still like when's the last time you just like went for a, a horse cruise? Last night I rode a horse. Yeah. Do you have a horse? Do you have like a that is your horse? I do. I have two. Whoa. Do they get along? Um, they don't really cohabitate. One's a boy, one's a girl. Typically we keep the boys and girls separated just because it's easier that way. So um they don't really know each other very well but i'm sure they would get along pretty well okay what are their what are their big listeners too what are the horses names so um my my mare she's the girl uh her name's Hermeta, and then the gelding which is the boy his name is lloyd wow yeah that's cool that's such a i one of the like fringe benefits of the, doing the podcast and talking to so many different people is just these, uh, you know, music is the first thing, obviously, but learning about these niche subcultures that everyone's into. And it's like, oh, like someone could, like yourself could be like, you know, into horses. And then uh, the like next person, I collect vintage teacups. And you're like, All right, right, right. Uh, let's see her about that. Yeah, that's you know? awesome. <laughs> oh that's cool horses do you like jump them or are you just cruising yes i do i do jumpers oh okay cool do you wear the weird funny helmet hat? yes i do i do <laughs> okay yeah you're actually you actually can't compete unless you wear one it's illegal in the show ring so they are funny looking but it's a, a hell of a lot better than busting your skull open so no, absolutely. I mean, actually, they're they're aesthetically more pleasing than like a bicycle helmet. That's true. Bicycle helmets are hideous, and, I agree and like, with why that. can't make them like the horse? Right. Thing, you know, I agree with that for sure. <laughs> and then you have the tall boot. I don't know what the technical term is for any of these things. That's so I'm actually, sorry. That is what that that's exactly what we call them. They're called tall boots. So. Oh, look at me! I'm yeah. an equestrian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to bothering the equestrian <laughs> that's fun we got to think of an alliteration one for that abby mm -hmm. um, that's your job right now okay <laughs> on it <laughs> okay uh uh Peyton, what was the last dream you remember having do you remember your dreams because i rarely do um honestly I used to have dreams like crazy when I was younger and like, I would remember every single detail of every single dream. But lately, like I just, I don't know if I'm not dreaming at all or if I just don't remember. So I couldn't tell you, like, I haven't had a dream in a while. I, I don't think. I think you do. I think I, and I feel like Abby's more in this world. We'll probably know more. She has a lot of fun facts uh, where as you get older, you do dream, but you don't retain them. How sad is that? That's awful. Yeah. I mean, some I don't want to, but you know, like right, I, that's true. I still have. Um, oh, I feel like we just talked about this. Uh, I waited. I worked in bars and restaurants for a long time, and I haven't done it in, in a long time, in like ten years. And I still have those dreams where I'm like behind, like in right. The yes. and like, oh my it's gosh, bananas. Those are the worst the worst the worst okay this is a fun one do you have a tv in your bedroom i do not oh, okay never have do you remember your family having a vcr a vcr um i think that my grandparents had one at one point like when i was really really little but um no my parents i mean not that i remember did we ever have one okay 
This is a new, this is, all right, just here we go. Do you know who Bernie Mac is? I do not. <laughs> so, um, by no means is this is this a, a tease or anything, but we we like to ask certain uh, guests if they know like a obscure celebrity from a different era. Uh, Bernie Mac, uh, rest in peace, was a, a stand up comic and an actor. He had a show on Fox. He was in Ocean's Eleven. You'll probably recognize him if you saw him, but that was uh, one that came to mind recently. I was like, man, I forgot. About, I forgot about Bernie Mac. Anyways, everyone, check out Bernie Mac. Um, we do you know who Bridget Fonda is? I don't. Um, I don't know who a lot of people are. To be honest, I'm I'm not very cultured in that way. There's lots of really popular movies and all that kind of stuff that I've never seen. Don't know anything about. I'm I'm not up to date with any sort of pop culture, anything. To be honest. <laughs> Again, there's there's no judgment. We all have our strengths, you know. You have horses and music. You just blew our minds with music stuff. So <laughs> thank you. A, I think we hold that higher than yeah anything. for sure. Uh, you have a song called Funeral, right? Yes. Yes. Um, it's a little morbid, but what have you ever given thought to your ideal funeral for yourself? Um, I feel like I think I think the coolest thing would be like just all the all my friends and family, like the the people that I love, like just getting you know absolutely trash together and talking about me the whole time <laughs> like telling stories and cutting up and like because I feel like at my funeral it would be such a diverse like crowd of people like just the most random people like people you would never think oh that person met that person like you know what I mean like I think it would be really crazy to observe the different kind of people like interacting with each other <laughs> To be a ghost. Abby? I saw, oh, I saw this great thing on Instagram. It's funny you asked this literally like yesterday and I sent it to someone and I was like, I'm doing this. But it was a lady that hired um, one of the like banner planes, right? And to fly over her funeral. And it said, I'm watching you from up here. Cry harder. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> or like, I can see you cry harder or something like that. That's a good idea. And I was like, I'm going to do that. And then That's I also... I. Again, I steal all this from either like Reddit or Instagram, but there was this other one where it was like, when I die, I want one of my friends to have my phone. And after the funeral, start texting everybody. Thanks for coming. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that would be so crazy. Oh, my oh God. goodness. I have a story similar to this. So I had a friend, uh, this is over 10 years now, pass away. And I would say like a month, max two months after i was inebriated with another friend of ours and i texted his phone being like i miss we miss you or something like yeah yeah like a little cheese but heartfelt and and someone texted back who like who is this and of new course, phone who this no oh it wasn't God. even like it wasn't even that it, but it it blew our minds and i was like who who and through like we talked found out not only did this person like just get the number they're like oh yeah just my this is my first it was like a young woman actually uh this is my first phone and you're not the only one to do this oh so I, like people were just like miss you kyle <laughs> and she's like that's crazy kyle? oh my god i have a, a, a friend whose family kept his phone on for a year for that reason and then also if that anybody, you know, came out of the blue and was like, yo, we haven't talked for a minute or whatever, they could yeah. let them know. But they, they told us at the service, they're like, you know, we're going to leave the phone on for a year. Um, I like your exactly. first thing about the joke being like, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, <dead." laughs> yeah. I saw something else, uh, Instagram recently is, is that, um, no matter who, like if it was someone like at my funeral, no matter who you are, even if we were like barely acquaintances, oh, yeah. use it to get out of work. <laughs> I, love <laughs> I, that. That too. I yeah. love that. Yeah, just, it's, it's like a coupon. Yeah. Just use yeah, it. For just, yeah. yes. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> uh, okay. So when you introduced yourself, 
what is the first reaction people have when you tell them your name? My name? Uh, We're building to something. I'm just curious right now. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like people don't really have a reaction to it unless I'm like, unless they're like, how do you spell that? Mm-hmm. That's that's a common reaction. I feel like, how do you spell that? Because Gilliland is kind of a mouthful. Well, I'm so happy you said it because I've been saying it and it is a mouth. I'm like, Gil- Gilliland. It's, yeah, you got, it's, I instantly go accent for some dumb reason. <laughs> it's sing songy. It is. It is. I it's like, like it. Fr- it's like from Frozen. Uh, <laughs> bring it all back around. Uh, I mean, like, I wonder, and it might be a, a location or there might be factors to this, but if people are like, oh, like Peyton Manning. Uh, yeah, I've I've had a couple of people say that. I feel like there's not that many like famous people named Peyton. He's like pretty much the only one. And there's actually two like Disney Channel actors that were like on on Disney shows when I was a kid watching them. But I feel like that's those are like the only Peytons I know. But yeah, I definitely I, I I've definitely heard the Peyton Manning comparison a time or two. Yeah, uh, I guess what I was getting at is, is it annoying? Ah, <laughs> uh, it doesn't really bother me that bad, to be okay. honest. Okay. Because I don't really, I'm not, I don't really watch football or anything like that. So I'm like, it, I don't know. It just doesn't really mean that much to me, I guess. Did you just say you're from the South and you don't watch football? Uh, yeah. Like the shame. I, I know, I know. <laughs> My parents are so embarrassed right now <laughs> oh devils i want to write i'm just she's like i'm into horses and music yeah yeah that's, yep. It. that's it. it i don't think that it i just didn't realize that that was an option uh yeah it, it really isn't <laughs> i mean yeah i still do have to watch football like when i'm with my with my family in the fall like football is just going to be on the tv but i don't really know what's going on i just kind of you know, look a little confused when everybody's screaming and stuff. So. Hmm. Okay. I've, you're from Alabama originally. Yes. What was the town again? It's, it's called Albertville. It's, it's like a, it's like 45 minutes from Huntsville. Okay. I've, I've been through Alabama. I've been to Auburn. Um, my little sister went to under her undergrad at Auburn and I have two Alabama questions. One, and I've heard this. I can't say that's true. I'm curious if you know that Mobile has the like biggest population Vietnamese population outside, like in the U.S. I have never heard that. That's crazy. If that's the case, I um I've been to Mobile like maybe once, and yeah, I I can't really speak to that because I feel like I didn't. I was there. I was literally there for like an hour. So. But that's crazy. If that's true, that is that is crazy. I don't know. So everyone listening, if you're like mad and going to tweet at me, I don't know. <laughs> it's not true. Abby Sugar. She's like, you're <laughs> so far from the truth. There's 100 other cities in America. I'm, I'm going to be honest. They're not even in the top 20. Oh, devils. Okay. Other Alabama question. Moving right on. Have you ever had caviar in Alabama? I have not. I don't think I've ever had caviar, period. Okay. Alabama has, this is fact, the best caviar. In Alabama? No, it's just an inside joke. It's like, if you know, you know, type of thing. Inside joke that we have here. It's like, you know, it's like ordering, I don't know, uh, chicken fingers out of the most famous steakhouse. You know, like who would, who would get caviar in Alabama? You know? Yeah, that's probably not a good idea to order caviar in Alabama. <laughs> uh, we saw, I saw just now that you followed us on Instagram, and we thank you so very much for doing so. Yeah, of course. Everybody else follow Peyton Gilliland <laughs> music. <laughs> and you got a blue check mark too, right? I do. Whoa, what's it like? Did people just like open doors and get free stuff at like the grocery store? My little humble town of Albertville, my hometown where I grew up, people like actually do think it's a big deal. But of course, you know, here in 
in Nashville, like nobody bats an eye at it. It's pretty normal. So, well, we think it's gangster. We tried forever to fucking get it. We oh my gosh! Denied. It can, be, it can be really hard. Um, I I did it. I I got mine like I think like a year ago, and I feel like they've really cracked down on it here lately. So, it's wild. We have like 150 episodes of content that are out there proving we are some sort of public entity and yeah that's that's crazy that that's really crazy it's it's sort of a racket though you know of course of course (laughs) i think they're starting to sell them now yeah it's all consumerism i think it's so stupid but you know whatever i have a question for both of you can you hear the thunder I hear the thunder at my house. Oh, it's the same thunder. I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's starting to roll. It's a rolling thunder right now. Um, what are you doing after this? You got any plans? Um, I'm probably just going to hang out and get ready for Because I got to go to work early in the morning. Mm. Not too early, but early enough that I don't mind going to bed, you know, early. Oh, yeah. I Preaching to the choir. Okay, if you could interview any musician, live or dead, first of all, who would you interview? But it's in the same vein as bothering the band, so it's really dumb. Um, uh, Mac Miller. <laughs> very, very good answer. And what would and in the same vein as bothering the band, considering real world and silly questions, what would you ask? Oh my God, I, I literally, I, I don't have. Like there would be an endless amount of questions that I would ask him. I think I would just be, I, w- I would just want to hang out with him because like I I've watched so many interviews and everything. And he just seems like he had the best personality. Yeah. He seemed very fun and lively and it's, I'll be perfectly honest and I might get shit for this. I didn't appreciate him when he was around. He was, he was, it was almost like a, he he's hit my fandom for him suffered from the people who were like telling me to listen to him. Right. You know, but I I've grown to appreciate him so much. Also, Abby, Abby, fun fact, he's Jewish. Was Jewish. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I actually didn't start listening to him until after he passed either, but that's because I, I didn't really know about him until, you know, but I, I love him. He's great. He's great. So I'm literally staring at a picture of him in my living room right now. So I, I have a framed picture of Mac Miller. It's framed. Life. Yeah. Oh, see, that's classy. That's just, yeah. that's art. That's classy. It's not a poster. You've yeah, grown I up. Have, I have him and Amy Winehouse right next to each other. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So following up on the, on the Judaism, have you ever been to a bar or bat mitzvah? I have not. Yeah, not a lot of Jews in Alabama. <laughs> no, really not. Um, I I I met uh a I don't know I I don't know how to like say this. I met I feel like I've only met like a handful of Jewish people like ever, and two of them were like on a cruise when I was like fifteen. <laughs> and they were like, oh, and you point, you're like, there they are. Look at yeah, those. no, I've I've never been to a, a bar mitzvah or anything like that. Um, but I'm I'm so curious. Like I would love to. It sounds so fun. It's just like a sweet 16, but they make the child read in a foreign language, embarrassing themselves in front of everyone. Oh my That's God. really it. That sounds horrible. Other than that, you dance, you eat, you get money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a joke that I used to do when I would perform stand up and it was uh the the end of the joke was Jews are just Jews are white people just better at it. <laughs> and depending on where I was, Florida it works, New York it works, but uh you know, would not work in Alabama. No, <laughs> Kansas Kansas and didn't work. Um That's so funny. Oh my god. Not no bueno. <laughs> Okay, so when you're getting up in the morning, you're going to work, and you're putting on your shoes and your socks. Are you putting on? Well, first of all, are you putting on your like your pants and then socks and shoes, or are you putting on like socks first? Um, it really, 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 really depends because like on what? 
it really depends on what I'm wearing. Okay. Because, like, when I'm going to work, usually like, cause I work in a warehouse, there's no AC and that kind of thing. So when I go to work, I'm wearing leggings and probably like my Birkenstocks, you know, but like if I'm going to the barn, when I put on my riding pants, my Your socks, boots. yeah. So my, my socks are tall socks and they always go on after my pants. So they look funny. They, they're they on the outside of my pants. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Kind of like so, uh, yeah. baseball players. But on a that. normal day, like if I was to put on like, if I was to go out in public and I was to put on like jeans or something like that, it would probably be pants, socks, shoes. I feel like that's pretty normal. <laughs> okay. Yes, I do too. And so we have a question and I was going to ask you if you put on um, one sock, then one shoe, and then the other sock and the other shoe, or you do sock, sock, shoe, shoe. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe. That's the correct answer. Um, and I was saying this to someone, my my buddy today. And then he said, he goes, I put on my socks, both of socks first before anything. <laughs> and I was like, so you're naked. Your gross body is naked. And you're like, socks first. I'm like, that That's is, so funny. <laughs> that to me is wild. That's a funny visual for sure. It's crazier than <laughs> sock, sock, shoe, shoe. Or yes, sock, yeah. shoe, sock, shoe. Abby, it looks like you have a tail. Well, because again, I'm just going to keep wrapping back to things I see <laughs> on the internet. I love the internet. And so the other day I saw one that was said something about like, if you're completely naked and you ever want to feel more naked, just put on socks and shoes. Like, I can't explain it, but it's a thing. And I was like, oh, oh that's, that is, so that would... that's a good question is. Yeah, uh, that's a good question is if you've ever done it, why? That, that is a very valid question. I could think of one reason, and I don't want to say it first. Um, if you guys. You have to say it first now. <laughs> oh, well, I'm assuming uh, in the throes of passion. Right. Pra- like what comes off, some things come off and others don't. Are you getting pants off if you I have shoes like, on? Yeah, I was about to say that. It'd be really hard to take your pants off without taking your shoes off first. I I hear you, but anything's possible when you want it to be possible. Because oh, you're wearing Adidas, you're wearing those like tearaway pants. Right. Like, yes, no more like, pants. I'm ready for SEX. <laughs> By the way, I'm spelling it. Are you for, 12? I'm yeah. spelling it for Jen and Richard. Um, you know, I don't I feel like you're, you're, we're gonna get in trouble. Okay, Peyton, because you have a cool name. What's your middle name? It's Lynn. Oh, cool. I was hoping it was Prices. No, I'm just kidding. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, and then the, all the princess questions were for, were for nothing. Um, <laughs> did you uh, eat dinner tonight already? I did. Oh, what did you eat? I had Subway. Oh yeah. Uh, so so walk walk us through. We like food. Um, you had Subway. What kind of sub? Okay, I got an urban cheese, like the urban cheese bread, and I got ham. And then I did lettuce and tomato and then their light mayonnaise and then honey mustard. So pretty basic. Oh, and it had American cheese on it. Okay. Toasted or not toasted? Toasted. Okay. And it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I think a a Subway order says a lot about a person. Uh, That is very true. You know, Abby, what's your go-to Subway order? I haven't been to Subway forever. I haven't either. Um, it's probably been 10 years until my parents came to visit a couple of weeks ago. And my mom was like, I know you have no food. So we're at Subway. What do you want? And I actually had to look the menu up, <laughs> but I went with the Italian BMT. Wow. That's wild. I thought every, I thought just everyone ordered the meatball. I was like, why do you have all this other stuff? <laughs> I like the meatball at Firehouse. I've never had the meatball at Subway. Firehouse though. is here we go fire and i haven't had it in a while i ate firehouse yesterday i agree firehouse is good but my favorite sub place though is jimmy john's i'm not even gonna lie this is this is a wild thing have you ever had the tuna at jimmy john's i haven't it's good it's so good but i do like tuna so maybe i should try it it's good and i've said this to people and people are like oh my god that's gross and i'm like trust me 
It's it's good. You know well, why? I'll have to try it just because you said that. Yeah, try it, try it. Um, I was going to say something else about Subway. I forgot. What was your first job? That was what? My first job. Um, well, my first paid job was uh, working in a coffee shop and I hated it. Were you a barista or were you on the register? Um, both. Also cooked food. So all, all, all of this stuff all at once. I've worked at a coffee shop before and what no one understands is it's a freaking nightmare for so many reasons and i'm sure you can attest to this it is all it's busy at you know for like a small chunk of time it, it's so messy and there's a i don't know how your coffee shop was but there's a million different things to make right the possibilities are endless yeah it for me like because especially when I first started working there like I was just a baby coffee drinker you know like I knew what a latte was but I didn't really like it very much you know what I mean and so when it was really hard for me to memorize the menu because I didn't know like what any of those drinks were but that was probably the hardest part of that job for me because people would order stuff and then I, I'd I'd been working there for a year and I'd still have to go to my coworker and be like, Hey, how do I do this again? Like, <laughs> I like you said, uh, the funny out of context quote is baby coffee drinker is funny. Yes. Yes. Baby <laughs> is it a baby drinker. drinking coffee or are you drinking a very big, like a, a coffee <laughs> for the size of a baby? <laughs> I mean, like I'm talking about like the real sweet, like, yeah, yeah. Drop of coffee. It's mostly creamer with some flavoring in there. Like, that kind of baby coffee. Yeah, I know. I know a uh, grown woman who does that too. Still to this day. I can I have caramel with a splat with a tiny drop of coffee. That is not true. I don't ever order extra. Like it's just what it is. I like a little bit of flavor in there, and also leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is fun. We're having fun. Okay. We always end every episode with a song from the artist. Um, at the end of the recording, we, we put, we tag it on what song of yours should we, should we put on? What song should you put on? Um, let's say not bothered because we were talking about being bothered earlier. And I, I told you a little snippet into my life about that so i feel like that's relevant and i really like that song so okay cool i like it i like it a lot can you guess my favorite song i mentioned it um, of yours uh let me guess the funeral song no it's the cookie jar i love that okay song. yeah that that one's really fun too I like Devil's Daughter too. I mean, we could keep going, but uh, Cookie Jar hits. Well, thank love, you so yeah. much. Um, well, that's that's our show. We can't thank you enough, and we're rooting for you. You've been so nice. Shout out to John, Richard, and Jennifer, yes. and the horses. I forget the horses' names. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, but this has been so much fun, and. and you're going to, you're going to just continue to rise. And then when you do just crush it in the world and you become super famous, uh, we'll just be here for the scraps, the people that do a deep Google search and find this. So. Thank well, you. thank you so much for having me on it. It's been so fun. I've actually never done a podcast before. This is my first time. So. Oh my God, you did great. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. I wish I would have known that first time pod. <laughs> you can't even tell. Oh, thanks. Oh, that's great. Well, again, I, I just to toot our own horn, there are none like this. They're all lame. They're going to ask you like just lame questions, nothing about your horses or jobs or, you know, who's being a, a B-I-T-C-H at work. Right. <laughs> I spelled it again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to say that word, even if they're, even if her grandfather wasn't listening, I don't like to say that word. That's fair. That's very good of you. Yeah. That's not a good I word. I love that word though. So who does? I do. Oh, okay. I th <laughs> For a second, I thought you said my dad, my dad loves no. it. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, this has been so much fun. 
everyone just stop what you're doing and go listen to Peyton's music. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cool. You were looking for my attention. Oh, we got it. And you didn't even have to mention how we parted. Now I'm just waiting on your next move. Another one of your possessions